Hey everyone, I'm Andy Asher. I'm the editor of Bloomer Boomer. Now, when I heard about our next guest and about what she does, I knew that she had to be on our show. She is Kendall Rose. Hey, Kendall, thanks for being here today. It's uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for having me here. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Well, like a lot of passions and pursuits in life, they start from personal experience. Was it, that the way it was with you? Yes, absolutely. The Stepmoms Club was formed based off of the fact that there were we were a group of women who were all stepmothers. And we would get together on a regular basis to be somewhat of each other's support group because almost 15, 20 years ago, there was no support social media online support groups for stepmothers. Well, with a financial background uh, as you have, uh, numbers are important to you. Tell us what the numbers are like uh, for a career woman who married men with children. Well, what's very interesting is the statistics around stepmothers. There are 15 million stepmothers alone in the U.S. And what's astonishing is the fact that there are 13 1,500 step families forming every single day. And one in four American adults has some form of a step relative within their family. Those are high numbers, aren't they? And growing. And growing. Well, you know, it's a human frailty, uh, though, I think, of letting our emotions get the better of us. I mean, love is so overpowering. You know, how can someone make themselves think with logic like what we're talking about today at times of, of love and marriage? In the Stepmothers Club book, we provide digestible information that liberates you as a stepmother or any step within a blended family that you could really understand. And we refer to it as the four D's. And the D's are documentation, dollars, delegation, and do stay true to yourself. And in the book, we provide anecdotal stories that really provide insight and tips and guidance for step families to have a easier blending journey. Well, I want to talk more about that in a minute. Now, do you know people who have actually sat down with their future spouse and make a decision not to move forward with a marriage? There are some situations where once they have had that heart to heart conversation, they realize that there were certain issues that were really insurmountable and they agreed mutually to walk away. But for the most part, why do we talk about the four Ds? It is so important to understand the documentation. And what we mean by documentation, we're referring to the divorce decree and the parenting plan. And why it is important to read through all that information it shares what your journey is going to look like within a blended family that highlights things such as finances, whether there's alimony, what does the child support look like? How much is that? What will your partner, your spouse be responsible for in terms of taking your child for piano lessons, softball, you name it, dance lessons, recitals, after school activities, supplies for school, paying for tuition. What does college look like? Everything is spelled out in black and white. And what's interesting is these are legal documents signed off by a judge in a court that the only way to change it is to go back to court, yeah. which takes all emotionally, financially, and on your relationship. I, yes, no, no question about that. I, you must have heard of and been involved and seen some very horrific things go on 
with situations that weren't planned for. It is unfortunate, and we outline that in the Stepmoms Club book, stories, true anecdotal stories of scenarios within each chapter. We provide checklists and guidance in terms of websites for references, because we say knowledge is power and understand what you're getting into or even open your eyes once you are in that relationship or you are in that marriage, that you know what your journey of being in a blended family, that roadmap looks like. The planning and, ahead, uh, I guess, is, is in a way, uh, planning ahead is, uh, is so important. Uh, you know, after making the decision not to marry, let's say in that case, if not to marry, what happens next? Do, do people remain friends or do they stay on as partners maybe in a non-married situation? Every relationship is different even outside of a blended family relationship. And that is between the two of you, because there are scenarios where they have remained in a relationship, but chose not to be married or fully engaged in the traditional married life. It just depends everybody's scenario. But what is important, once you've gone through the documentation, to understand what the dollars look like. What would your relationship look like if you remain in your blended family? Where are dollars going within your household? And if they're staying within your household? Because once you've read through the documents, you realize that there are so many variables and costs related to children from a previous relationship, money might be going out the door. Yeah. And you need to understand what's under your roof. And we call that the net. What is the net that is going to remain under your household to be used for you and your relationship and maybe any children that you have together? Net's important. It is important. And, you know, and again, I just to try to bring this to real life, uh, in many cases, as I go, went, go back to the earlier question, when you deal with your dealing with love and matrimony and all of the other things, you know, that thought goes through your mind that, you know, it could hit the skids, but you don't think about it. I'm sh t tell me, uh, just to give a perspective, tell us a little bit about the kind of situations that you've seen because people, you know, didn't follow some of your advice? Well, first and foremost, when we talk about the dollars, we recommend to individuals that figure out what works for you, especially related to bank accounts. Because just like in a divorce situation, money has to, and assets end up being split. And while we talk about the third D in the four Ds of delegation, delegating to an expert, an estate attorney, an accountant, a financial advisor to help you set up your assets properly that if you end up do not staying together and you separate, you know exactly what the financials look like already yeah the have money, you purchased it really does come down to money so often i mean that is the reality uh of, of the world we live it's money it is it, it comes down to the dollars and by working with professionals attorneys financial advisors estate planners accountants they have that knowledge and expertise to understand things happen and look to the future and be prepared. You might come to a relationship with certain assets that you want to remain within your family. Well, that's and very true. And, and not only that, you know, the money is so important, but then the other part of it is the relationship between the new parent and the kids, that is a whole nother topic. That is a whole nother ball of wax. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose you cover that as well. Yes, we go into the relationship aspect with children in depth. 
and not only the relationship with the children, with the children mother, with the children and other siblings that might be outside of their family as well. They might also be in another blended family. We talk about the relationship between you and your partner because the fourth D is do stay true to yourself. Meaning you fell in love, you have a relationship, you need to nurture that and focus on the two of you as well, because together having a healthy relationship will show the children what it's like to have a happy relationship. That's really true. And you know, that of course holds true, whether you're in a blended family uh, or not that, but you know, the, the blended families have their own, own set of issues. Uh, if for nothing else, you have two sets of kids coming together with a, a new parent for both a set of kids. That in itself is another big one. It, there can be challenges related to that. There is no doubt about it. And we recommend to stepmothers, whether you're legally married, whether you're living together, you're committed in a relationship, if you are in the role of a mother in a step family relationship, we say take it easy. Step into the relationship and into the role with children slowly because it's an adjustment for them as well. They didn't ask for this. They didn't plan on it. There still might be some hurt over the divorce between the two parents. And it is something that everybody blends at their own speed and time. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm hearing uh, about the, the questions that need to be asked. Uh, and I think you, you said earlier, and uh, just to emphasize the fact that you do advise getting maybe an accountant or a lawyer involved if, if need be. Absolutely. Finding the outside expertise to provide you with the information that is so important, we recommend highly. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, and I, you know, I guess really the kind of the sad part in many cases is the kids are caught in the middle and, and that's really tough. Children have to process what has occurred. And it's not easy. It's not an easy transition for them. It's not an easy transition for the stepmother either. And that's why it's so important that you step slowly and understand that each person, especially the children, are going to warm up to you and to the blended family at their own pace. And you cannot force it. And we recommend, if need be, Seek counsel, work with a therapist that focuses and has expertise in blended families. That's good advice. The number yeah. And, and talk a little bit about stepmom, uh, the Stepmoms Club, how to be a stepmom without losing your, your money, your mind, and your marriage. You know, a girlfriend's guide to this unique uh, unique life. I mean, how is the book structured? I, I've heard the description, it's, it's kind of a source book. Uh, what does that mean? We, pro we provide very factual information, as if it's two girlfriends sitting across the table from one, one another, having a cup of coffee, having a glass of wine, and really sharing helpful information, tips and tricks to really, for yourself, understand what the stepmother journey is all about. and. Whether you're a brand new stepmother or you're considering being in a relationship with somebody who has children, we're sharing with you the knowledge and the challenges and the love all wrapped into one. And knowing that there are going to be times that you've even wondered, how are you in the spot that you're in at that moment? And writing the book based off of true information, 
that has been culminated over years and years and years by hundreds and hundreds of stepmothers really provides that insight. That's fantastic. Is, wow. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah, that is such a timely book and probably uh, long overdue. <laughs> Have we uh, pretty much covered everything that uh, is really pertinent? Uh, maybe a final bit of advice. Uh, hopefully everybody will go out and get your book, but if those that maybe can't, any bit of advice? Well, the Stepmoms Club book was actually written with all the women who have been together for over 15 years. And when the book came out, it was the number one new release on Amazon for blended families and step parenting. And what surprised us is how many stepfathers and who are considering a relationship with somebody who has children found this so helpful. And also people were buying it for friends and we were receiving feedback from the person who received it as a gift as to this is a lifesaver. It has helped me understand that I'm not alone and that there are so many others out there and that the book has really provided a resource, something that they go back to time and time again, chapter by chapter, and work on the takeaways and the checklists and references that are in the book Beautiful. for various web wow. Well, you know, that's uh, great. Uh, you know, we've been talking to Kendall Rose, and she has a book about the Stepmoms Club, How to Be a Stepmom Without Losing Your Money, Your Mind, and Your Marriage, A Girlfriend's Guide to This Unique Life. And you can get a copy of it right now. Just go to bloomerboomer.com slash now and uh, get hold of it right away. And you can download it in Kindle as well. Hey, Kendall, thanks so much. Well, thank you so much, Andy. It was wonderful to be here speaking with you today. All right. For anyone who wants to uh, ch check out the book, like I say, uh, go to bloomerboomer.com slash now and take care and see you here next time.